Hi everyone, my name is Pierre Chabonneau, I'm an IT arch architect and uh, today's tutorial will be about the uh, new Java 8 Metaspace uh, which is the replacement for the Parmesan space. As you may have seen um, from my previous uh, articles, uh, basically the Oracle decommissions the Parmesan space. It is now being replaced by its call uh, by the Metaspace. Now, what you're going to show today is the Metaspace in action. Uh, so basically, it will allow you to understand uh, uh, how this whole memory space is working uh, and what you should be aware of. And for that purpose, we created a simple program that is basically simulating a class metadata leak. Because as as you should be aware, um, the perm gen space was the primary storage for the class metadata. The Metaspace uh, basically uh, is now storing these uh, objects in the native memory space. So there's no longer uh, a separate Java memory space uh, such as the perm gen. So the memory is stored into the native space. So this program is basically simulating a leak and this will allow us to better understand at a deeper level how, how this new memory space is working. So it's a very simple program. Uh, which will allow you to essentially what the program does it's simulating a, a leak of a class metadata through the creation of a proxy instances still getting reference and this is al allowing us to simulate that leak condition now if you're familiar with JVisual VM it's probably the best way to monitor this leak as you can see uh, right now from the uh, the JVisual VM, it was able to detect our class metadata leak simulator. And this JVisual VM uh, version is packaged with Java 8, which was recent, uh, recently released, uh, as you know, back in March uh, of this year. So you can see right now from the JVisual VM, the memory monitoring is split between the heap and the metaspace. Now the metaspace is uh, what I just explained about. If we look at this tab, we see this is the Java heap. This is the metaspace view. Now if you look at the maximum right now, it's set up. Look at the max. It's quite huge. Uh, the reason is that the metaspace by default is unbounded. So the permgen space, if we're a typical environment, was about 256 or 512 megabytes. Now the metaspace by default is unbounded because it's using the native memory space, right? I mean, the, GM, the GVM will be allowed to uh, scale it um, as needed. So if we look at the process monitoring from our Windows OS, we can see basically the uh, from the performance and the processes monitoring view. This is our Java process using 17% of CPU and the process footprint as we can see keep, keeps growing right this is because the meta, the meta space is now unbounded similar uh, if you are working with IBM JVM and environment which is why when you're using 64-bit JVM uh, and you're leaking the class metadata at, at some point if you don't monitor properly and if you don't have alerting enabled it could pretty much consume the entire virtual memory of your host. So in our case, you can see it's already at one gig and it keeps growing. This is at the process level, right? That we can monitor all this. From a JVisual VM perspective, we can see Metaspace just keep growing. Now at 256 uh, with a current size of 452 with the current max, right? Conf configured. Now let's see uh, because we enable Verbo GC. Now let's see from the output. So if you're familiar with uh, uh, basically Verbo GC, you will notice a couple of things because if you're familiar to work with GDK 1.7 or 1.6 or even older 1.5, um, now you will see a new addition, right, from the full GC. Metaspace. So in this case, uh, when the metadata G, uh, threshold is reached, you will see there is a full GC triggered. And then you can see similar thing as you were used to read before, right? So young gens before and after, right? Before the 
the major collection after the major collection well meta space is the same thing so before the major collection about 14 megs after 14 megs so no nothing is getting cleaned up now if you look at the meta space for each major collection you will notice it keeps growing like 140 megs already right so it, it just keeps growing over time similar if you're watching from Visual VM so so Java 8 basically both updated the verbo GC and the Visual VM which will allow you to monitor uh, the meta space which as I said now by default is unbounded so and essentially that change um, the whole rationale was to okay let's simplify the whole management because typically in the past we're used to get like other memory perm gen space so Oracle decided to decommission this approach and that pretty much align it with the um, if you work with IBM JVM that's the same thing that class metadata is bound to the native memory instead and the same thing for even the JRocket uh, JVM no perm gen space so essentially it's kind of a Java 8 it's kind of a merge between the best of JRocket and the best of the hotspot JVM so we end up with that uh, newborn which is uh, the meta space so, so far I've seen, uh, yes, this is true. For some environment, that default behavior will basically eliminate some need to do some level of fine tuning. However, the, um, the cons is that you, you now you need to monitor the native space very closely, as we can see from the JVisual VM. Because before you were running out of memory, out of perm gen space, let's say at some point at 512 megs, now you have to make sure that the process size will not grow to an excessive footprint. You see, we're already training on 1.3 gig. You see, so this is um, this is kind of the cons uh, when you have an environment like this. You need to to keep track of the environment. But uh, but anyway, this is part of the best practices to add a, a proper uh, uh, APM solution, which should include the process level monitoring. Now thing you have to realize is that this is a default behavior for production environment what I would recommend is that you still uh, cap the meta space now how can you do this because now it's from to the native space it's unbounded by default I mean if you work with IBM JVM again in JRocket you will realize there's no such way to cap the native memory right it's unbounded well the good news is that even though the uh, Oracle and the hotspot m is moving to this approach as well, they still um, they still created a way to to cap the memory. So this and that's what I'm going to show you next, right? So they came up with this parameter. So I'm going to stop the program from Eclipse. So the parameter that they added is this one it's called max meta space size so essentially it's very similar to max perm gen right uh, where you would be setting up a max um, the only difference is that perm gen always had a max by default the meta space now which is you new know, to native memory is un unbounded by default so what it means is that for the common models who don't even know about the meta space won't be even adding this parameter so they won't even know meaning that the memory will, will be adjusting by itself automatically, right? So it's probably going to eliminate a whole bunch of issues uh, where people probably just need to increase it to 512 and that's pretty much it. But for uh, big production environments, which are very uh, delicate tuning and so on, I think uh, this parameter will still be the way to go, especially for enterprise level applications. So using the um, the max meta space size is still going to be recommended. Now let's see if our program we had this parameter. Let's see what happened. Okay, so we're going to apply this and rerun our program. Okay. Now we're going to to refresh our program from JVisual VM and monitor the meta space. Okay. Now you have to keep in mind meta space will auto adjust and increase by chunk. So at some point you may not necessarily see 128 megs before running out of memory. You could see that earlier, you see, because it depends on the size. At some point when it's detecting it's unable to grow, it's going to, to, to crash. Okay. Oh, there it is, you see? No more collection. This is it, 
right now our program fully stopped let's see what happened there we go add my remeta space sounds familiar huh well it, because it is because in the past we used to get out of Maria or perm gen space now if you're using the parameter I just explained and and you size it to a lower value than you should then you're going to get very similar flavor but as I said for Java enterprise environment this is something that you may want to still use so for example you, you may still want to cap maybe the uh, meta space to one gig max and then monitor very closely because you can monitor very closely the meta space as we just explained through JVisual VM or another uh, APM tool of your choice or you can even fall back on the verbose GC as well which will provide you all that level of detail as we saw each major collection are going to show the utilization of the meta space including um, even if you generate a, a thread dump snapshot then a thread dump you remember that the thread dump format for hotspot for the latest version it has the heap breakdown at, at the end so and as you can see it got updated for the meta space so it means that even if you take thread dump snapshot uh, you'll be able to keep track also of the meta space utilization and you see it's quite good right so you have the meta space capacity right we maxed out at our configure 128 megs you see capacity even though it was just used at 80 but as is explained it will try to auto expand proactively so at some point when it's detecting a capacity beyond your configure one it's going to throw out the memory even though the used is lower than the 128 that's just something to keep it in mind there uh, and the one and the one gig is actually what it reserved from the OS as a buffer right and then you get the breakdown the class space you see to so use and capacity so uh, so for sure it's not just the class space metadata is storing other stuff as 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 well but it's it's mainly around the uh, the class metadata so so I think that cover well initial uh, uh, coverage of metaspace so bottom line if you're working in the uh, development world IT support make sure you keep an eye on this one uh, it will take some time obviously before we start migrating over Java on 8 but I think it's a good idea to proactively play around a bit with it document yourself on the Java in metaspace and follow some of the best practices which I explain should start with a, a good monitoring uh, solution and then make sure you monitor even if you decide to leave it in unbounded mode make sure you monitor because if it could um, impact uh, the the requirement or the capacity that you need in terms of virtual memory from your host plus you will be able if you don't monitor and you use unbounded you will you won't be able to detect a native memory leak that's something to keep in mind if you just focus on the java heap monitoring you'll be missing some of the native memory heap again jvisual vm or similar tools are your best friends uh, for the uh, type of assessment uh, and and for deeper dive uh, analysis obviously you will need to rely on Java profilers and other approaches like heap dumb analysis all right so I hope you appreciate this uh, short tutorial on class metadata please feel free to comment and post any questions to the video I also recommend you to uh, visit my blog and uh, and have a look at the article uh, on the on the same subject Okay, so have a good day. Thank you.